We have probably the best ball handler um, in you Luca. Know, we have yeah, probably the best ball handler um, in Luca. We have yeah, probably the best ball handler um, in Luca. <laughs> <laughs> we have probably the best ball handler um, in Luca, and now we feel like we have the second best as well. <laughs> Yo, I know y'all just heard that, right? Y'all heard that. Y'all know y'all heard that, man. Yeah, this man really just said that Luca has the number one ball handle, bro. He just said Luca has the number one ball handle. And now that he has Kyrie, his team now has the number one and the number two ball handlers in the league. Whoa. I went over my head so fast it's not even funny man yo Mark Cuban is candid bro he's funny as hell he is funny I gotta give it to him man that's hilarious if you dare think that Luca's handle is better than Kyrie but eh I guess we'll find out right <laughs> I guess we'll find out man it is what it is man you starting competition already man I just hope this ends well man because you make statements like that man you, you you tend to touch a nerve in that Mr. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie's emotional, dog. He's emotional. Anyway, man. <laughs> I just got to laugh at the situation because it's type crazy, bro. I can't even believe that. I just heard that come out this man's mouth, bro. Like, that is freaking rambunctious. But anyway, this is Mark Cuban's first interview ever since he made that trade and acquired Kyrie Irving. Trying to bring it to y'all on the ASAP, on the uno, dos, tres, on the one, two, three. So, enough of me, man. Y'all just do me a favor. Y'all listen to this interview. Hit that like button. Drop a comment. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you know. You know what I'm saying? The things that all YouTubers say. These are just the things that they gotta say. You know what I mean? Because they gotta promote themselves. It is what it is. So, I'm self-promoting at the moment. But um, as always, it's peace and love. I ain't going to take too long. I'm going to just let y'all hop into this interview. I'm going to keep it nice, short, and sweet. Once again, y'all make sure y'all tune into that Flight Sports TV, man. I'm going to leave that link in the description, as I always do. And it is what it is, man. Y'all holla at your boy, man. And I'm Ghost. Yeah. We thought um, we really needed... The opportunity to get another player like Kyrie that's transcendental, you know, um, would give us the best backcourt in the NBA. You know, we have probably the best ball handler um, in Luka, and now we feel like we have the second best as well. And that creates unique opportunities, puts a lot of pressure on the defense, um, allows us to rest Luka more um, when Kyrie's on the court and, and Luka um, is resting. So we think it's really going to be good for us. Oh, I mean, you know, both of them just like to win. And so they'll hit the hot man, they'll move the ball. I don't think either one feels like, okay, I have to score all the time. And, you know, I know with Luca, um, it's always been, you know, go with the hot hand and, and let's just win. 
and Kyrie's the same way. Um, I think, you know, when he starts tomorrow, first game, um, even though Luca won't be playing, you'll see him just moving the ball and getting to, to the guy who can score. And it'll be fun to watch. And when we need to get a bucket, either if it's not Luca, it'll be Kyrie. If it's not Kyrie, it'll be Luca. Pick your poison. Yeah, we went and talked to Luca first, obviously, and he's really excited about it. No, I mean Luca's words is he's really good. <laughs> you know, I think um, we're always trying to get better. I think one of the other things, you know, as unfortunate as it is for Dorian to leave, um, it's really going to open up a lot of minutes for Josh, for Josh Green, and we'll have the opportunity to put the ball in his hands more because he's been really good at creating off the dribble, shooting the three. Um, defensively, he's literally been our best on-ball defender. And so I think part of the, the value in this is, you know, freeing up some minutes for, for Josh. And so once, you know, we'll, we'll talk to other teams, we'll see what's out there. But, you know, I, you know we're going to, we adding Kyrie is no small piece. I hope so. That's the whole idea, right? Keeping The longer you can keep a great team together, the better it is. Yeah, um, he was really excited. I mean, you know, Kyrie's a talker. He's he's a smart kid, um, and so he was already asking all kinds of questions, asking me business questions. So I was having fun with it, um, and so I'm I'm really excited to get to know him better.